So here I am at Nome Creek. And uh, normally you would have, oh, one and a half stream crossings right at the beginning of the trail. And uh, that's pretty much it. But there is a snow field that's about 200 yards or so long. And uh, I was post holing up to my waist. And it looks like it's maybe 10 feet deep still in spots. So uh, I am taking a back route through alders. I have now crossed the creek twice and uh, oh, got to find a way through here. Believe me, it is cold. Um, there's chunks of ice floating down. We haven't had any rain. So whatever's there is 100% snow melt. right now. What a day. It was a gorgeous day. It was worth the effort. Fun fact about the Gnome Creek Trail, it's always muddy. Always. You would think it would dry up in the summer, and parts of it do a little bit, but I've never seen it not muddy before. So this is totally normal. So far the trail's been really wet, but not much more than normal. Had a couple little snow crossings, but not bad. The weather continues to be gorgeous. The wind is strong, so there's no mosquitoes. Could not ask for more perfect conditions than this. See 
out to the wind chimes today. It's a big set of uh, granite towers or tours on a ridge, kind of on the shoulder of Mount Prindle. Probably don't have the time to go all the way to the Prindle summit today. It's still over five miles away and uh, it is almost 4.30 in the afternoon. Granted, the sun doesn't set until after midnight and it doesn't get dark, so I do kind of have all the time in the world, but we'll see how it goes. I'm in the first big snowfield crossing. It sure is pretty out. No way you're going to be able to see them with the GoPro, but I'm trying anyway. I think just below those outcroppings are some little white dots on the hillside. I'm about 90% sure they're doll sheep. Uh, as soon as I get out of the snow, a little closer. I'll bring out the whoa. Got some post hole laying nice. Okay. Um, as soon as I get a little closer, I'll pull out the telephoto. See if I can see them a little closer. I did confirm. Like those. Whoa. Look at this little spring. That's cool. There's lots of cool things here. I like it. Um, so I did confirm with my telephoto that they are sheep up on the ridge. Uh, and uh, it's gonna take me a little out of the way, but it does actually look like I can have a snow-free ascent if I do hike up by them closer and then skirt the, the side of this hill. So the dull sheep or little white dots under those rock outcroppings. There's this little round mountain ahead and the trail or at this point there's not really much of a trail but the the route goes up by those those little tours on the ridge there. So that's what I'm going to do is head up to the little snow-free ridge and then do some side hilling for a bit. Well, I got to about within a quarter mile of the sheep before they noticed me. I uh, did not have favorable wind for approaching them in the end, but I got a couple far away shots. Better than I was expecting today. I didn't even know I was going for a hike today, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, now I've got some weird talus side hilling. At least I gained some elevation though. Once you get back on the ridge, a trail appears again, which is nice and easy to follow and dry. And it's almost always dry, which is really awesome. There are definitely some interesting rock formations on this little ridge, but it's nothing like what you're going to see ahead. And it's really cool because you get no view of the tours that you're heading toward until you literally crest the top of the hill. It's really an incredible sight once they come into view. And then the trail kind of meanders around and through some of these giant granite towers. And it's just really a spectacular sight with Mount Prindle just 
looming behind all of this. And of course it was here that the GoPro died. And I threw in my backup battery and it had about 10% of its life left. So I wasn't able to take a whole lot of video up here. This is a definitely an awesome place. If you get the chance, you should definitely visit. It's worth the hike. Uh, this trip to the tours turned out to be about uh, 15, just under 16 miles round trip. And I'll link uh, all my trail guides and pertinent info in the description below. So until next time, happy hiking.